Ah! Well, that's not going very well. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So in this one, we're going to be fighting the Root Horror. But the thing about the Root Horror is that it's, it's one of those bosses where it's kind of like a secret and you have to know how to be able to fight him. Uh, or find him to be able to find him. So uh, the whole story behind the Root Horror actually starts right here with the Stuck Merchant, which is why I'm actually here. So if you come over here and you look behind this uh this cart right here you see this red thing and that's the strange curo uh so the thing with this is that it allows you to gain access into an individualized place where you find the root horror for the first time but you need the the curo the strange curo to be able to access it but before you go over there i highly recommend you come to the stock uh merchant and buy the armor that uh she offers to buy which is uh, it's actually two pieces. It's one, the Radiant, uh, Protector armor set, uh, or just the, 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 the armor itself. And the, the, uh, and it's also the, um, the Greaves as well. So these two things, I highly recommend you buy them from her, uh, because after you meet the Root Horror for the first time, you won't be able to, uh find him again so after this you want to go to another location which will pretty much just skip there right now and i'll show you exactly where this progresses to all right guys so once you get into a place that looks like this and you come actually and rest on the checkpoint you're gonna notice something very interesting and that is that this place is actually called the guardian shrine so once you actually get here to the Guardian Shrine, you're going to see this big wall against, uh, uh, well, this big wall right here. And it's give you a prompt to select X or whatever. And that's basically going to open up the ability to insert the Strange Kuro. As you can see, it's shaped exactly the same uh, as the Strange Kuro. So as soon as you put it in there, the door will open. As I'll demonstrate right now. And just like that, you now have access to this chamber. The thing about this chamber is that you have an item over here and a book right here. You don't want to pick up the book just yet because that's actually what initiates the battle with the Root Horror. But really quick, if you look over here, you actually find the helmet for the Radiant vis uh, Visage or whatever you call it. Uh, and essentially what this is, it's the actual last piece of the armor set that we just bought right here. Uh, and it's actually a pretty good set. I always see people wearing this. It's a very good one for critical hit chance and damage. So if that's a, a build that you're trying to do like something based off of critical hits, that's pretty much the set that you want to go for. But the second you pick up this book, which is just a tome of knowledge, of course, the second you pick up this book, you're going to initiate the battle with the root horror which i'll demonstrate right now and i'll fight him for the first time because you fight him more than once but i'll demonstrate it right now as soon as you pick it up you find him oh ah well that's not going very well All right, let's do this. I think he's, uh, I think he's done, actually. That was actually a pretty much a disaster. I messed that up very, very badly. But if you notice, we actually didn't beat him. He got about halfway health and he actually disappeared. And that is because he actually relocated to another location, which he went back to where the stuck merchant is. The reason why I highly recommended you to purchase, uh, the the items first before you actually came over here is because you're not going to be able to access her inventory anymore after that so i'll demonstrate right now we're going to actually go over to the stuck merchant right now 
All right, guys, so we are here at the Stuck Merchant, and if you actually notice, she is dead. Something that I forgot to mention is that in her inventory, she actually has this this uh, ring called, uh, hold on, I got uh, the Guardian's Ring right here. It's actually valued in her inventory. I believe it's like a hundred thousand, you know, dollars or money or whatever it is that the currency is called. I think it's called scrap, uh, but 100,000 scrap or whatever to be able to purchase the ring. But if you go this route to be able to, uh, to you know, fight the root horror, you find this weird thing right here, and that's the Guardian Ring. The second you pick this up, the battle initiates. So let me go ahead and drop this really quick, and then pick it up. And then the battle starts. This guy, he's a pain in the ass, but he's really, he's really not that difficult. I made it look a lot more difficult inside the, uh, the Guardian Shrine or whatever, uh, but it really isn't that difficult. As you just saw right there, uh, that was pretty much the fight. So you don't get anything special from him besides the ring that you get right here. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that really much, that pretty much does it. He's a really simple boss. And, I mean, it's, it's kind of a secret, so it's, it's pretty much, a uh, 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 I think it's a must-have, at least to do it one time, because of the ability to get the Radiance set and the Guardian's Ring, to be honest. That, it's actually a halfway decent ring. I've... It's not really my type of ring, to be honest, because I don't really like to take damage to begin with. That's why I haven't even invested any uh, points into Vigor or Endurance yet. Uh, but that's mainly because I'm working my way up. But that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.